Flapjacks here, and I want to bring you a video about a game I have found, and it's on all platforms, PC, Xbox, PlayStation 4, it's on mobile also, on Android, Fishing Planet, it's like Fishing Simulator. Basically, you start off level one with the lowest level gear you possibly have you just kind of work your way up there's a ton of different lakes and massive amount of equipment you can have in-game money system there's a leveling system can't go to different lakes until you're a certain level i'm going to jump into a guide real quick about it so far i've leveled three accounts i've leveled up two playstation 4 accounts and one pc account currently assisting three friends leveling their account there are youtube guides out there about this game already uh they're about a year old and the game has changed since then. I think the newest one is like three months old. But that's more of a specific lake god. And I'm just going to bring you kind of a... If you're a new person coming to the game, this will be for you. Because the game has got a serious learning curve. Like you're not going to jump in and be a pro. Own everything and be able to go everywhere. It's not going to happen. Let's get started. Well, when you first start out, you know, you got to put in an email address to register an account. Now that email address can be used on all platforms. You can use the same email, it doesn't matter. Then you're going to go into like a character creation screen. Male, female, hair color, a standard set of clothing. It's just a different color shirt and different color pants. This will be more of a beginner guide, the do's and the don'ts. And what you should do in the very beginning to have yourself in a, in a nice position later in the game. When the tutorial starts, you're just going to follow along. And then once you get through the tutorial, use L1 to go over to the little gear and when you're in the little gear it'll say language and units and then tackle load indicator Let's change it over to pro it helps you decide on what you need to upgrade next with your current setup bobber size is preference only um, hence turn those off in tutorial slides you can turn those off as well player models in close range show characters ply at the bottom of the screen and then and then you're going to go into the next, which will be controller. Uh, change it if you're left-handed or right-handed. And then vibration, you want on. And vibrate, if line is not tensioned, you want on. And the invert axis, that's just preference. Sensitivity, you can crank that up to like 70. The sound, I like to play with the music off. Float fishing bite sound, you need that on. In the home screen, you can scroll around the maps with your right stick. Uh, there's only one map unlocked, Lone Star Lake. And that's where you're going to hang out. Weather forecast. Each day is different, as you can tell. The peak of the curve is the peak of the fishing time. It's in the yellow. That's when the fishing will be the best. Down one from weather forecast, you will go into fish species, and it will tell you what each fish is on that lake, what their preferred lures are, and their preferred bait. Scroll down again, you're going to be in licenses. You always want the advanced license for whatever lake you're on. Now in your home inventory screen, and you can scroll over to your leader between the bobber and the hook. Around 57 while you're there. Um, you're going to keep it at 57 for a while. Now in your shop, licenses. And scroll down to Texas and pick up the advanced license now. Once you're back at the lake, push in right stick. And you're just going to throw it out there. Now what you're waiting on is you're waiting on that ding. And you just keep catching these fish. You're going to catch bluegill. Just stay there and catch them until you're level 3. Keep everything right now. Uh, you can hold 4 pounds and you're catching things that are extremely small. So just keep them. I'm going to go over the HUD real quick. Um, the HUD is the heads up display. Top left you got the time, the day. Temperature is 60. You got the wind, fish, house, or stringer is. The weight on the left is what you have in it. The weight on the right is what you can keep. Um, hold options to help or start I believe on the Xbox and F1 on the PC. Below that you have your chat frame. The right side, starting at the bottom. The number at the top is how far it is currently out. 216, how much line you have on your reel. Now the circle, each dash is an amount of drag. You can fill the dashes up by pushing right on the directional pad. And pushing left on the directional pad lowers it. The little triangle, if you push up on the directional pad while it is casted out, or if you're using a caster or a spinner, it will change the speed it is reeled in. If your line is in the red, turn your drag down. If your line is in the yellow, you're kind of okay. Adjust your drag to what is happening with your bars. Pay attention to your equipment, your bobber. You don't want to mess with it. 
until it goes down. Just strike and then reel and always keep your drag on two or three and adjust from there. When you level to three, you're going to go home. No matter if your fish hut is full or not, you're going to go to the shop. You're going to go to spinning rods. You're going to purchase the value spin and then you're going to go to reels and you're going to purchase the reel you need. You're going to go to baits and you're going to purchase the bait you need and purchase the string that goes with it that corresponds with it. Go over to your bait, purchase the silver spoon, tools and equipment, and you are going to purchase a rod case and you're going to equip your new rod, equip your new reel, fill it up with string, equip your new casting spoon, then you're going to go back to Texas. You are going to choose the bridge. You're going to go back to the bridge and you're going to stand on the bridge. And once you're on the bridge and you're just going to cast straight out. You can do what's called twitching, tapping left trigger while you are reeling at a speed of one. Spotted bass. They are the highest paying fish on this lake and they are going to be what you're going to grind for a while. $79, one pound. We'll cast out again. We're going to do straight and slow. This is just single speed. Don't stop reeling. Lift and drop. Hold down left trigger for a couple seconds. Let it go. Reel. Now there's also the stop and go, which is reel, stop, reel, stop. Your fish hook can hold four pounds. Keep catching bass until your fish hut is full. Only keep the bass. Once your fish hut is full, do not leave. Wait. Ask you to extend your stay. Extend my stay. Is it empties your stringer for you? Continue doing that. Once you get to level six, you're going to go to the shop and you're going to go over to tools and equipment and you're going to go to landing and keep nets stringer. It holds 22 pounds and you're going to purchase it. You're going to go into the rods and the reels also and you're going to purchase the level five to level six reel. Purchase a new rod, spin rod, match rod instead of a telescopic rod. Purchase a new match rod as well. You're going to want to purchase the narrow spoon. So we're going to go over some quick do's and some quick don'ts. Don't bounce around from lake to lake. Do not spend your money on lures, rods, or reels. Keep the minimum, only what you need. And do not fish without an advanced license. It lasts one full, real, non-in-game day. That's pretty much the don'ts. The don'ts are simple. Don't spend your money, don't jump around, and don't fish without an advanced license. Do stay at Lone Star Lake until you're level 7. Purchase a double rod holder and fill your net and wait instead of going home. If you buy an advanced license for a lake, stay until that advanced license has expired. Keep fishing in that lake until your advanced license is gone. Save your money. In general, when you purchase a stringer, always purchase one that's double what you can hold now. Only keep bass in your net unless it's a trophy crappie or bluegill or whatever. Don't go crazy, don't spend a lot because you're gonna have a bad time. Other than that, that pretty much finishes up this guide. I mean, there's a lot of information. There's a very sharp learning curve in this game. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you can, go ahead and subscribe and like. That'll help me out a lot. Um, I will have a part two coming. The game is very fun. The game is very addicting. It's not like a big thrill game. You never know what you're going to get, and that's the fun of it. Good luck, you know. Follow along. I'll post some links in the description below. I have a friend that's also streaming on YouTube that's playing this game with me quite frequently that I'm trying to help out. I'll post his channel below. Make sure you give him a uh, subscribe if you can too. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for a lot more. There's a lot more to come. Have a good day.